Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a GFX for your YouTube thumbnails in Blender. And I'm going to make this very beginner friendly so you guys can do this for yourself. So yeah, let's go. Alright, so you need to open Roblox Studio and go to Avatar at the top of your uh, screen. And then click Rig Builder and go R6 and My Avatar. Now we have this. Now you want to go to the side over here. Uh, you can enable this in view and properties. And over here we have the position. You got to make that zero comma three comma zero. And that will make it so it's over here. And now what you're going to do is you're going to click your avatar, right click in, in the explorer. Once again, you can open it through here and right click, uh, your rig. And, and then you gotta go over here, export selection. And now you just gotta save it as some, as whatever you wanna call it. So you can remember it. Let's say I want to call mine avatar. Boom. Okay, we saved it. But now, what we need to do after that is we also need to save all the accessories. Doesn't matter what accessory it is, you've got to save every single one of them. So export selection. And then name it accessories. Boom. Okay. Um, that's all we have to do in Roblox Studio. Now let's go on to Blender. You'll need to download Blender for this. Alright, so what you need to do is you need to download this file. And then once you download it, you have to open it. So to open it, you go file, open, and then select what you want. In this case, you want the thing you downloaded. And then you can see this pink avatar. He's pretty ugly, isn't he? So what you need to do, you got to click this and go to where you saved your avatar. And you should have your texture for your avatar, like all your clothes and stuff. So what you need to do is you need to select it open image and boom that's my avatar texture right here and you can see he's bald you need accessories so what you need to do is you need to op uh you know you need to import and then go obj boom and go accessories don't do mlt do obj so go obj and now my accessories are right over here and uh you can see they're pretty high up, so just, just make it, put it in the right area. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, now, uh, you can see, well, these things are completely different. They're not, they're not the same. And if you want to pose your avatar, this is not going to be attached to it. So what you need to do, go to the top, uh, top power over here, click this, and also click head attachment. So do, Click this, control or command if you're on Mac, I think. Do that. And now both of them are selected. Now control P. Wait, go control P. Wait, here, here, control P. And then set parent to object. You have to click that. And now they should be, uh, attached. So to test this, what you're going to do is you're gonna click on one of these boxes, go here, and click pose mode. And let's move, let's rotate this. And you can see it's moving with that uh, accessory. So that means that it worked. And what you wanna do now is you wanna make a pose. So I'm just gonna make a simple wave. So here, boom, go here, go up a bit, and then go here. And then, and go here, go here, boom. And then move, move the legs a bit. Boom, boom, boom. And this looks good. Okay, um, well, this looks kind of odd. Um, just rotate it a bit. There we go. Now that looks good. Let's, oh, wait, let's do this. Okay, it's a big glitchy, but there you go. You've got to pull wave. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go to a site called Polyhaven. Let's go here. Polyhaven, boom. Okay. So, you're going to get an HDRI. So, click here, browse HDRIs. 
And now you have all these stuff. These are what makes the the thing realistic. And you're just gonna pick whichever one you like. I like well I use Chinese Garden. So Chinese Garden. Uh there. I click I use this one. You can download it. If you want it 4K, you can change it to 8K if you want. Doesn't really matter. And then once you get that, you're gonna go over here. Let's just make this a bit bigger. You're gonna go over here, click this, and then click color. So I well, you're gonna click world, the circle, and then go to color, click this dot, and then go to environment texture. Boom. And then open. And then you're gonna select your uh, HDRI uh, that you downloaded from Polyhaven. Then you're gonna go here, and then you're gonna notice well nothing happened. Well, it's because you gotta click this button over here, the see-through circle, which uh, shades it. And there you go. Now there is a problem with these HDRIs, and it's that. Sometimes they make it really glitchy because it's realistic. But for now, you don't really need the HDRIs. You're just gonna do that when you're uh, when you're actually taking the picture of your avatar. So you can change a lot of stuff over here. So what I do is I go I go to glossy and I put everything. I go over here. I change it to sixty fps. And I changed the strength just a bit higher. So you can see here. Okay. Now what you're gonna do, you you're gonna go out of pose mode. So don't go on pose mode, go to edit mode. I mean not edit mode, go to object mode. Boom. And now you're gonna rotate your avatar so you're so that you're facing the sun. Cause you need to face the sun. And now, now that we have your your thing ready and posed, you're gonna click. Uh, you're gonna click back to edit mode. I mean, not edit mode. Oh my god, object mode. And then go out of here. And now you're gonna go here, click add, and then camera. So you need a camera so you can take your picture. I'm gonna go up a bit. And then move this, move it like that, just move it so it's facing your character. And there, okay. Now, to view on the camera, first you're gonna go here. And I forgot to say this, but you need to go to the, to this thing, the TV, go to film, and then do this so it's transparent so you can't see the background. So, what you're gonna do now, you're gonna click the camera button, and now you're gonna click shift and tilde. And now you can move uh, your camera freely, and you're gonna just go wherever you like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here. It is very glitchy. And there. I'm gonna put it for the side of my thumbnail. You can put it as your profile picture if you want to. Doesn't really matter. Now you're gonna click off it and then go here, click render and render image. And now you gotta wait for it to render. Over here is gonna say the time left, so 49 seconds for me. And I'm just gonna cut until uh, when it's ready. Alright, so my render is finished. You can see it's really good. It's, well, it's a, it's a normal GFX. So now, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go image, and then save as, and then you're gonna go wherever you want, and save it as a PNG, go, let's say, GFX YT, I'm just gonna do that because I'm making a YouTube video, and then I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna, let me just put it here, yeah, okay, I'm gonna put it in pictures, and save, and there we have it. If we go, if we go over here, go to pictures, and 
and we're going to find it. Boom, we have it. So, yeah. Uh, you can put this in a photo editing software. I use Photoshop. Or you can use anything that you use. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, like and subscribe if this helped you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. And quickly before the video ends, I actually just found out that when you subscribe, there's a new effect. So if you want to try it out, try it out right now. Subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe.